The weather's tough, man. It's allergy season or something like. Yes. It is hard I've been out there. Horrible sick with that. It's just crazy. It is. Yes. So bad at work. I'm sneezing and sneezing like ten seasons. Right. Like, no, it's, I'm not sick. It's not cold. Do you want to cut down today? A little bit. Yes. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, I can't believe how beautiful these nails mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. Well, you know mm -hmm. what? Wow, there's hardly any lift at all. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Everything's going good, you know. I'm just very busy working and um, raising kids. And what I, you know, just trying to stay cool. It's going to get hot pretty soon. Yeah, so just I'm just very happy how these now look good, man. Oh my God, it's just amazing. So that shows you like using the right product helps a lot, you know. But yeah, how's work been for you? Working good? It's hanging in there? It's yeah. tough, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's always good days and bad days. Yeah. You know, how's your family? Everybody's good. My son just had his 16th birthday. Okay, um, that's your youngest. Yeah. Oh, wow. 16, talks like he's a man. Yeah. What, what, <laughs> what, what do you guys do for him on his birthday? I just took him to dinner at Happy Yachting. Nice. Um, hung out with his friends. So good to see you today. I, I did think about you and I was like wondering how your nose looking and so you know sometimes when you don't see the client for a while you, you second guess, so you're like, okay, is the nail on good or is it off, you know? Yeah. But seeing you today with all your nails on, that yeah. just tells me like... I wanted to come in last week, but I just... You're busy. Yeah, I and and that's the time. reason why we, we want to add quality to the nail so that it can last, you know? Yeah. Hey, my goal is for you to go as long as you can without breaking them. Especially, I'm... So what makes me more surprised because you in retail yeah, and, and I'm dealing with boxes and all day. And all that, yeah. Just dealing with having been having nails on since I was 16, so I know how to move. Wow, you do, you do. <laughs> no, that's amazing. So you have any plan for this summer? Like any trips you guys gonna take, you and your significant other? Really busy, so yeah, is it? The life right now. Work. Yes, that's that's work. 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 Damn, I hate it. Yeah. And you know it's funny. Every time they stop by, you all running your heads off. Yeah. When they leave, you can take a deep breath. Right. And then <laughs> what sucks is that like it repeats. Two, three yeah. weeks, they're like, oh, they're coming back. And you're like, why do you keep coming back for, right? Yeah. Man. How powerful is CVS though? Like in terms of the company? Like do you know a lot about the company? I don't know. They don't do my research like that. I should, but yeah. I know they are. So how comfortable are you looking at the numbers now? You know what I'm talking about when I say looking at the numbers, like the reports and all that? I still don't do that fully because... It takes time. Yeah. It, it, it's intimidating. Yes. Because you look at all that and you're like, oh my God, what it say, what it means, right? Well, because I'm still in a training, I'm still doing, you know, training a lot of the whole office paperwork stuff. Right, not yet. Not yet. Because we have three other operationals now, which is my position, assistant. Right. So, they're, the other two girls, they're, they're the main go-to. As far as like with my manager, he kind of like makes them do everything as yeah. far as office work. 
me and the other other off. Like we just kind of like hang back and just do like a lot of the floor stuff. You're more of like the like fix fixturing. Yes. Like all the merchandising yes. where things go and all that. Yeah. We uh set the, you know, get the team together right. on what the task for them to do. Right, and, right. We do a little bit of paperwork, but not a not a lot to what we should be knowing. But he's like, I'm going to get you to go to the you know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is that Lance okay? Yeah. No. Loving everything so far. So um, in two weeks, I'm, I will be in Hawaii. Nice. Yeah, so we, we've been planning this trip for a while. And uh, I'm excited because I, it's, I'm going to take all my kids. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we haven't fly out since COVID. So uh, it, it is kind of nice. A little bit long over there. You ever fly anywhere? No, I might be scared to fly. Come on, <laughs> come on, girl. I like how I said no, I have no. When we went to Vegas in February, tell me about that. I wanted to fly, but I was like, no, I can't do it. So you drive to I Vegas? Drove. I oh. drove. But now with gas, it's kind of hard to drive, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, you y'all did it. Y'all did it. This ombre is so beautiful. You got a lot of compliment, I bet. And I bet you even feel like how much it grown out. Wow, <laughs> that happened. Yeah, let's take that out for this part because you know I be grind. That happens yeah. all the time. Yeah, right? Like, we don't usually hear that kind of noise. But you know what? On Tuesday, it's always a lot of people. Because we close on Monday. So on Tuesday, everybody starts coming back to work. This white is very pretty too. Everything, man. Everything about this set looks cute. You know, doing the fill, this is probably the hardest part right here. It's just cleaning it up, the preparation. Mm. Because the goal is to make sure the set looks brand new again, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, take some grinding here and there. But it's so worth it though. Mm -hmm. 
stylists? You know what? We've been getting a lot of stylists. They be coming in like flies. <laughs> okay, you sure do know how to function with long nails. I'm very impressed. Not everybody can. I'm yeah. telling you. You want to wear a long nail, it takes skills. People think they can rock long nails, you know, and they always be breaking it. Let's measure the length real quick. Bam. 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 Look at that. So precise. Just this one. I'm gonna go in with this little drill right here. Let me cut that one corner. I see a corner that I need to cut out. Cleaning out all the lift. It feels good, right? Yeah. To to like when you know what, a, what what feels more better, a good feel or a full set? A good feel. I feel yeah. like that too, <laughs> because sometimes after the, the feel is all the full set is done, two weeks later you come back. If the feel is done nicely, the nail looks very natural. Yes. Because when it's a brand new set, it kind of looks a little bit off because there's more tips, right? right. Versus what your nails is giving you. Right. So any um so life been treating you good though, Andrea? Yeah. Like things are going your way? Yeah. Good. You just are are you getting more readjusted to the job that you're in? Or yeah. there's still some learning things that well, you Well there's still some learning uh, thing as far as like the office work uh, office paper work but everything yeah. else, yeah, I think pretty new already. Get more familiarized with like the main corporate corporate guys that come in. Right. Just gotta understand what they look for, right? Yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah. But you know what tripped me out is this right here. Why is it that when you you are working in like a lower position, mm -hmm. you don't see them being that tough? Right. It's yeah. weird, right? Isn't it weird? Like they come to you. Let's say you're a team member. They come to you. They're like, "How are you doing? Thank yeah. you." So, and it makes you feel like, "Oh, that's so nice." Yeah. And then when you're in management, yeah, right. you get scolded. Yeah, you you get scolded. Why like, is yeah. why is it like this? Like why they it, talk to you differently. Why is it not done? What's going on? I don't want to hear excuses. Right. Give me excuses. Isn't Get it, it done. I was like, where are you? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> Man. So when you walk, when you do a walkthrough, you have a notepad that you write stuff down. Yes. I used to do that. And you know what I do with the notepad? I roll it up. Put it in my pocket and I never look back because <laughs> that's what we do with no pet okay yes we do remember in our head because we wrote it down but most of the chance once you get busy you're like damn where's that where's that note that I wrote right <laughs> yeah.
you know, we're only human. We all make mistakes. Oh, yeah. We just gotta... As long as people know that we give it our best, that's all that matters, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's funny because, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just far, like, I'm a good employee, like, You're the best. Think, but I'm being investigated for You are? Yes, I just got a call last week, last Tuesday, for, uh, well, because with corporate, we have this, what it's called a vice and council. Uh -huh. So that's just for employees only to call on other employees or management if there's any kind of conflict or any issues in the workplace, right? So apparently uh, another employee called on me. The hotline. Yeah, and said that a customer came in. I accused the, the guy of shoplifting and I reached into his pants and grabbed his crotch with both of my hands. What? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I'm like, what? I'm like, Come on. No way. It seems like the odds is like going against you or something. Right? I was like, what the hell? Dang. Never. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, so this is what this is what the uh, the vice and council guy was telling me. He's like, you never touched him. You never put your hands on his pants. I'm like, no. He told me like four times. I'm like, you know, you keep asking me the same question. I'm giving you the same answer. It's like you're trying to make it like if I'm, I'm like you a want liar. me to admit it. Yeah, like if I'm lying. Right. And, you know, I was like, no. and plus, why would you do that? Like, who, who in who the right it? mind? Yeah, exactly. And I was like, wow. I think, I think it's it was a bogus call. Like, Absolutely. The whole thing was like a made up type of thing. And the, wow. employee, and the employee was just, I had an issue with that employee. So right. that's why I was like, okay, you're just you're kind of doing like a little retaliation. Type of thing. Well, and, and here's, comes, here's, my, here's my problem with this situation. They have to trust you. Yeah. Like, like I would not, let's say I was the store manager and I'm hiring you to become my assistant. Mm -hmm. I have to trust you. Like there's between right. me and you, we have this trust where like, look. I got your back yes. because you have to know who you who that person is like yes. when I was promoting my staff as manager, I know how they work is I know like will they be honest or not yes I would know yeah but the fact is that sometimes corporations don't have your back like that oh yeah because they're trying to protect their butt mm -hmm. they don't want to get sued yeah yeah so I, and this and I told the guy I was like his name is Adam I said look Adam I said, have I say, okay, you're 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 here to investigate me and ask these questions. I said, but did you do further investigating? Did you look at the camera? I said, because we have cameras throughout this whole store. Yep. And apparently, if he said that, like, it would be on camera. Right. I go, so did you see any footage of me doing that? He's like, well, um, I don't have time to sit in front of the the monitor and go through six and seven hours of footage. I'm like. But isn't that your job? I would. You're you're investigating. Right. right. You're investigating the situation. You're supposed to look through that. Right. He's like, well, not if I don't have a certain date or time. I was like, well, you just told me the date. This happened on the April sixth or seventh. Damn. I said, but you can you can look all day if you need to to set your case, right? Right. He's like, well, you'll be hearing from your district leader. I'm like, all right. I'll be looking. I'll look forward to it. To talking to him. Yeah. So that's what's going on with that. That little. That's that's dumb. <laughs> that's, that's dumb. Like, and you know what? Here's the thing. Em employees gonna call regardless if they want to. You yeah. Know? Like they can, fabricate, they can they can you know, fabricate stories. anything yeah. that they they want it to be. You know, just to put you under the bus. Oh yeah. Like in my situation, right? I was trying to grow as a store man, like an assistant manager. I was in a, a supervisor at one point, right? Mm -hmm. I went to work. And all of a sudden, my store manager was like, man, I need you in the office. And I was like, oh, shoot, what's yeah. about to go down? So check this out. This is the most crazy thing I will ever tell you, girl. <laughs> my best friend's older brother wrote a long email to my company telling me that I wanted to yeah. kill him. <laughs> yes. So I walk in, all positive mentality, ready to get hustling on, and all of a sudden, I'm on the phone with the district manager. Like, hey man, who, who who's this guy? Blah 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 blah. I was like, oh, he's my 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 best friend's brother. And then, and then he was like, well, he's saying that you threatened to kill him. 
I was like, what? I was like, and so I say, I told my district manager, I was like, do I look like somebody who wants to kill somebody? Yeah. My thing is, I just want to work hard and grow into the company, yo. Yeah. Like, I don't want to deal with no drama. So I had to explain to him this whole story, like, why is he angry and all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they're like, okay, well, I just want to make sure, because, you know, all of a sudden I got an email from this guy, and I wasn't sure if you wanted to kill him or not. Dang, it's, 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 it's six like that, yo. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know, after that, I, I, I just told, I just told them like, no, that's not me. And, but it's stressful. Yeah. It's, it's How stressful. How did you go deal with that and go through it and just hey. have a waiting, like a waiting period. Okay, when are they going to come in? Like how, now what's the Correct. outcome going to be like now? Correct. You know, and so that's, that's stressful because you have no intention to do that. Yeah. You know, you have no intention to. Who wants to do that? Like, we yeah. want to come, go to work, make our money, and go home. Yeah. Like, who the hell wants? And that's retail for you, though. That is retail. That's the sick part about retail for you. You know? Because you, you're dealing with a lot of, like, honestly, he's just dealing with <laughs> yeah. a lot of BS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah. And that's what I told too. Like, some of the stuff I was like, yeah. I was like, it's funny that this, is, that this has been brought up. I said, I've... Like I told him, I've been with the company close to five years, never had no, never been called on. Right, by until now. By any employees, management, nothing until now. Right. I was like, it's just funny how this is starting, to, this is, you know, coming up, and there was already a situation I'm telling you, with me and another employee. It's, it's, it's all politics. Yeah. It's, it's they pick who they want to take out Yeah. to replace. Yep. And that's what people does. It's like, they, they're not going to, like, they don't like you. Yeah. Oh, we, we don't. You know how many people bash on management oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah. But you just gotta do right. The one thing I've learned. So when I became an assistant manager, one of my closest district manager, I talked to him and I asked him, "What advice would you give me as I grow into a management position?" Mm -hmm. And the first thing he said to me is, "You got to work with integrity." You gotta be yeah. honest and don't lie to yourself. Yeah. You know, honestly, that's the best advice anybody can ever give me. Yeah. Is because when, because when you work honestly, nothing can take you down. Yeah. They can oh, accuse you. Yeah. They can put you out yeah. any way they can, but they cannot take you out 100 percent because mm -hmm. you are honest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're yeah. not living behind a shadow. That's what I was telling you. I was like, I don't have nothing to hide. Look at the cameras. Right. Because he's like, oh yeah, also, they were uh, the same employee. Can't tell you who it is. I was like, I already know who right. it is. Right. He's like, but that part of that employee was saying that they caught you in the office downloading, I mean, uh, copy, making copies of confidential management paperwork. And you put it in your locker. For what? For and, what? Yeah, and, and when they asked you, you're like, oh, I don't, I'm not doing nothing. I'm like, what? That is never, that conversation has never happened. I have never, I said, what paperwork are you going to be copying and want to take home? What? Like, what? And why? Yeah, like. Why would I need to do that? Like, like what is it going to benefit me? Sense. You think I'm going to take over the whole company? <laughs> you think I'm going to sabotage? Like, why, why, do, why do I care about You know how dumb numbers? stuff, like, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Not all district managers are smart. Yeah. Because you know why? They're just another person who get paid by the salary yeah. and they sit behind closed door behind the computer desk and they just analyze the number. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Is it bad? Mm -hmm. And you know who's breathing on the net? They're regional managers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay? And all of these people who grow, there's two type of people. There's one type they just grow because they know people and there's type yeah. that they just work hard all their life and they overcome all the odds. Yeah. You know? But because man, I had some bad district manager too. Like when I was the store manager, I had like the one that when I was growing up into the company, I had a lot of good managers. But once I became a store manager, you know, you get some of these people who like they've been with the company for like 20 plus years mm. and they're thinking like they're they can, yeah, they like, think like yeah. they know everything, they know all the little tricks. No, you don't, yeah, because if you do. They would promote you to the CEO position, right, exactly. but instead you're just a district walking, driving around with the, your rental car. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So looking at numbers. Yeah, looking, looking at, at number numbers. and then coming in. Yeah. Instead of critiquing, you I call it criticizing. 
y'all ain't critiquing crap. Yeah. How come that's not done? Yeah. You know, um, how come there's people waiting in line? There's no, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just, it is just, it's just yeah, funny to me. That, it's just like, wow. So this is what they're doing, huh? This is this is what what they're trying to do. I'm like, right. I'm like, but they know. They might be the wrong person. Just because I'm kind of quiet at work and I don't go into drama. I'm like, I know. I know the fuck it is. is I know right from wrong. I know you cannot try to throw me out for whatever stupid reason. Like, right. Because their thing is like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of like a liability. Like, and one Since thing, you put your hands on, they can see us. Like, where's the fucking proof? Where's the video? Yeah. Because I'm sure you, they're gonna wanna, uh, CBS is gonna wanna see that in court before they just hand over millions of dollars. Right. Right. Like, come on. Like, here's my biggest. Like, here's one advice I can give you, and and it happens to me too. When you first get it promoted, you just feel like if you work and you do something like actively, mm-hmm. you think you're working. Right? Yeah. Because that's how I was. When I got promoted, I was like, okay, I- I'll do this. I'll do that. I- yeah. I'll face change this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But honestly, the smart one, as I got older, the smart one is the one that knows everything about the company. You. So what you want to do is when you have some downtime, which I'm sure you don't, but try, t- and I'm sure you can do this. Yeah. What I usually tell my management when I was managing them, throughout your shift, Spent 15 minutes minimum on looking at numbers, reading one thing about the company, reading about mm. all the protocols. Yeah. That 15 minutes that you give yourself in each shift, that whole week, it adds up to hours of what you learn from what you read, not right. what you do. Right. Nobody can mess with you, girl. Right. Yeah. I can tell you one thing all the district managers, they don't know everything that goes in that company. You know why? Because the turnover is so high. The higher you go, the higher the turnover, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they get fired left to right oh, because yeah. of ethical. A lot of management get fired because of ethical issue. Mm-hmm. They don't get fired because they do things right. They get fired because they do something wrong. Okay? And if you spend 15 minutes out of your way, so I don't care how busy you are with face chain merchandising, mm-hmm. just say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and um, step away a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and re-up some stuff. I guarantee you, nobody's gonna mess with you. And not, if anything, you're gonna know more than them. So when they speak their BS, mm-hmm. you're gonna be like, oh wait, according to the standard procedure, yeah. that's what they yeah. call it, standard procedure, S, yeah. you know? Because every time when we have like some issue at the company when I, I used to work, I always pull out the standard uh, policy. Yeah. You know, what, what is the standard? So, and you know, every company, their, their link, the website that you log in to look at your number, mm-hmm. they have a section where they have policies. Just pick out one policy and read about yeah, it. And that's what I've yeah. learned, dude. Because when I first became an assistant manager, even when I was a supervisor, I keep thinking like, the more I work, the more I do, the better I am. Mm-hmm. But that's not true. That's just you working harder, not smarter. Yeah. What you really see, how did these guys grow? When you want to grow into a district level or like higher level, they don't care how hard you work, but they care about how much you know. Yeah. Yes, because what you know is going to protect them from liability. True. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Working a lot, doing a lot of tasks, That's you can really just be a running around ch- headless chicken mm-hmm. doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? But then when they ask you about certain things, you're like, oh, I don't know about that rule. See? See what I mean? But if you know more information about the company than the process, you know more than a lot of people. (laughs) Because when they teach new entry levels, they teach you process. They don't teach you, you know, report. They only kind of, once you get into management, they kind of, oh, so this is what you look at, right? You know how they kind of throw you in a little tip in there? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I do. So what I do is once, when I was like a store manager, I still go out on the floor and work, but I shift my mentality into like, you know what? I'm gonna read everything I need to know about this company, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's what I did, girl. 
And that's my one advice I can give you to help you out in retail. Yeah, thank you. I will yeah. consider that. I'm telling you, you go get your nails done by me. You're not only getting your nails done, you're getting a lot of education there. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm big on that, girl. I'm all about that. I'm all about protecting people, and I know what I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. I was a hustler. But yeah, once you know all that protocol, girl, even the district regional, they're more impressed when you talk about it. Yeah. They're like, oh, you know that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Even like the dish you mentioned, you know why I say they don't know all of it? Because imagine what if you're new to the company, you just got high because of your background. Yeah. You don't know all the things. You just they kind of get you going. All right, go start looking at these stores and set the protos. Mm -hmm. You know, set the standards. So that's it. And it's funny because uh, they post, they're starting to post now in our break room where it's for a front store and for a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Like the number one employees that have the, the top rating, right. customer service right. rating. And it's funny, it's like, whose name is there? Andrea. It says, right. great job, Andrea. You right. have nine out of ten. Right. And it's like, I mean, you guys want to throw this crap out here? Right. Like, I don't know how to do my customer service and I'm over here. Right. Being or whatever, and, and it's like how, how am I on, on on the number board, right. but, but I'm doing illegal stuff. Right. <laughs> and I'm number one in your care pass. Uh, care, selling your you care know what's passes. funny? It's like what? <laughs> when I became a store manager, I had a district manager. He came up to me, and our store was constantly getting good reviews by our clients, our customers. Mm -hmm. He came up to me, he's like, hey, come here, man. I was like, well, what, what happened, sir? He literally said this, are you guys cheating? <laughs> I said, cheating what? It's like, how come you, you guys constantly getting good review and other stores are not? You know what I told him? Because we asked him to write a good review for us. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing wrong with asking the client to give you a good review uh, if you I, give them good service. Yeah, I've said that a couple times too. Like, you know? Hey, you know because they're like, oh my God, thank you so much for helping me get this and helping me yep. find this, you know. And you know what he actually said? And that's say? when you say, oh, thank you, you know, here's the receipt. You know, I would appreciate if you gave me a good review. You call the, the hotline and give me a good, good review. They're like, I would do that. Right. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, you know what I used to do? I make them write the review in front of me before oh. they leave. I'd be like, oh, th this is what they'd be like. Oh, my phone doesn't have internet. Boom, Here's an one. iPad. <laughs> it's lock on for you already, girl. All you have to do just answer some questions. Yeah. You know, and I always tell them it's only five questions. You know what I mean? Make it easy for them. Yeah. <laughs> so after I told him that we just asked, he's like, okay, well, I just want to make sure you guys are not cheating. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that after that right there, that's when I'm like, I went back to my my team. I said, like, look, this is what the district man think about us. And now they all eyes on him when he comes in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, you, don't, you don't trust your team either. But like when your team. store do bad, when you have stores that does bad, you complain about how could, how, so you think they're bad because they're honest? They're, yeah, they're not, they're not. Just because doing, they, yeah. do you think because they have bad surveys, like little surveys mean they're honest surveys? Yeah. And just because we have a lot of surveys, it means that we're bad? Right. You see? So what do you want from us? Right. Like you want honesty or, or you want cheating? Cause right. <laughs> makes no sense yeah. so yeah that's how I you guys have credit card offering or no no none of that see I used to do that too they have the credit card offering and I was so good at you have offering you sell like a certain amount of credit cards a day man they set your goals and everything and usually the dish would be like, all right, today's goal is nine credit cards, you know? Mm -hmm. And on the weekends, and we would have competition with other stores, okay. right? We Other store like one side, all right, today's the Saturday. We're having a competition. We can drive the most credit cards. And we would be good. Like, we always be like top, wow. like, like in the top place, you know? Yeah. It's always me and some other store, right? And you know what I do? I just ask, like, hey, you want to sign up? Say you 15%. People, you'd be yeah. surprised how many people don't know percentage. And they think that's, you know? <laughs> so you just ask. But you know what I used to do? Here's, the, here's my strategy with the people who steals. 
I know they're coming in, they're stealing, right? Because you can just smell them and tell, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I walk up to them. Hey, man, how can I help you? And they're like, oh, well, I'm, I need to find this, find that. And they want you to step away, right? right. I say, hey, look. You're going to buy a lot of stuff? He's like, I'm looking. You want to sign up a credit card? Oh, I'm not qualified. I was like, dude, you don't know that. I know they're not going to qualify. Yeah. But I get credit if I sign them up. Uh, whether they get, it, rather they get it or not, oh, wow. I still get credit. Okay. I say, come on, man. Let's, let's, you, you got your ID on you? I do. Come on. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's try it out. Let's see if you get qualified, man. If you get qualified, you get 15% off. I talk to them like that. I walk my ass up to the register. Come on, come with me to the register. I sign them up. I got one point on the credit card, and they didn't steal at all. Because after that, they were like, oh, I didn't. Like, all right, well, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. That was my strategy right there, girl. Do you guys have any strategy how to prevent theft? Well, we're supposed to go up to them. Uh, go up to them and... Uh, Just pretend like you're helping them. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. I had a better strategy. You guys have walkie-talkies? No, we used to. So you guys just have like earplugs? We don't have nothing. We can't. We don't communicate. Oh, okay. Like, we okay. have to like gotcha. page you, page gotcha. us, or gotcha. you know. But we used to. We used to have a little hip earpiece and all that with the walkie-talkie. We used to talk through it. Like, hey, you know, the customer aisle seven, you know, go up to them or this, this, and that. Like, but nah. No, this is what I do, girl. I have a very slick move. So we used to have walkie-talkies, right? Uh huh. Man, we, I don't know how I come with some of these good ideas. When whoever that we suspect that's stealing, mm -hmm. especially the diaper area, we got a diaper area, and you know, then the moms always be stealing diapers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would stand next to them, and I, I say, I told my employee, I want you to, when I'm there, I'm going to pretend like I'm looking for an item. Oh, yeah. Hey, what item were you looking for? Right? Yeah. And the moment I, I ask you that, you're gonna give me an item, okay? And I told them, count five seconds in your head after you answer my question where the item's at, and say this over the walkie. The police is waiting for you up in the front, man. They wanted to speak with you regarding somebody who's suspecting to steal. And I'm standing right next to that person, <laughs> and the walkie's on, girl. <laughs> Just think about that, okay? Yeah. Boy, they... <laughs> <laughs> they are looking around, they drop everything, they, and all you have to do is just say that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, my, my, uh, <laughs> one of the other managers, Myra, she's done that. She's like, she's like, we have, Ale uh, she'll ask, so we'll call out a name, one of our names. You right. Know? Yeah, we have, uh, there's no PD online one for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? It works. Sometimes there's other people who are faulty and they don't care. They, they don't, don't care, yeah. Some people they don't care. They don't care. So you know the one that don't care, you know what I do? And here's my other strategy. My God, I have so many. I just have my employee stand right in front of the door. Oh yeah. Which door that he's exiting, I'm just standing in front. I don't care who's coming in. You come in, you greet them. You stand out and you just pretend like you're checking the receipt like like yeah. uh, like Costco. That was my strategy next. Well, I can't, you we know. Can, we can't even do that no more. Like, they changed the policy on us two weeks ago. The reason why I was able to come with the plan, because you got to think about, during Christmas time, you know how many people we deal with oh, throughout the day? Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, man, we got imagine. people. We even got people who trying to walk into the back of the warehouse. I just had that the other day. Isn't it crazy how some yeah. people like to do that? Because our alarm went off. And we're, it was me, it's just me, another, there's two of us managers, and a cashier were on the front. We we're all on the checks, and all of a sudden it went off. So we both run to the back in the aisle, and we see him back there and struggling to run out the emergency door. Right. And he falls because it's, it's cluttered back there, and then he spilled on the bag, it's like leaking. Man. So he slips, he gets up, and he has a skateboard, and he has like two boxes in his hands, and he just takes off. You know what tripped like, me out ooh. in retail too? Man, we can talk about retail all day. <laughs> it's those people who steal toilet paper in the restroom. 
Oh yeah, we it, it's closed out. We don't have a public restroom no more. So that yeah, but so that did happen. Wait, what do you mean? You you guys don't have public restroom anymore? Uh -uh. no we don't. We don't. Man, you know how many times I order brand new toilet paper? I I put them all in. <laughs> Within like the same day, it's all gone. I'm like. That there, there wasn't yeah. that many people using the restroom. They have to leave the box, the big old box that has like a hundred right. rolls in them. They take them. And yeah, they would take them. But that is, you know, that shows it's you like people would do like, for anything, anything, yo. Anything. It's just underneath. It's just yep. a habit that they have to do it. Yeah. No matter what it is. And then have them smart about it. Because if I was a thief, I would be so smart, girl. You know, I, I come up with so many ways to steal already. And that's it, that's it, these girls that came in getting, she got one mascara, an eyeliner, and I forgot something else. Probably would have totaled like maybe a little over 20 bucks. You know, now that they came out, you know how, you know now they came out with the self-checking? Oh yeah. That's very easy to steal. Oh, yeah. Just you think they have somebody stand right by the self-checking? No. You know how you do it? This is how you do it. You take the same item, two of them to the front, okay? You're gonna check out some of the ones that you check, the little costly ones. You pick one expensive one, one cheap one. They have the same item to different quality. Oh, you see. scan the cheap one. And you take your... You take the quality one and you return the cheap one. You just save yourself a lot of money and that's yeah. how you stick. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I, don't ask me how how I come up with that idea. But well, we don't have that in our store, so <laughs> our location. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sick, right? Like, how I come with that? <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's just funny. It just, it's just it's so sad. much craziness, man. It's so sad. Much. And yeah. And especially the ones that do, and they have an attitude too. Yeah. I'm like, what the heck, yo? You're the one who's filming. They get mad. They get they get mad and give you attitude. Maybe and they may, got caught. You know what? Maybe they when they caught. go home, they don't have all their items right. They might get beat up by somebody. Mm -hmm. Or like they didn't. They feel like, oh, I didn't accomplish my job today. Let's go to another store. Yeah. Dude, they those there's people. They can go store after store. Oh, yeah. yeah. You ready for a good pedicure? Okay. It's been a while, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Back to one of my sandals. <laughs> I didn't bring any uh, sandals. Do you have those little... You do gel, right? I only have gel polish. You do acrylic on it? Because remember that nail? Uh, no, I, I oh, would no, do acrylic. I, I would do acrylic and I'll polish and gel polish, oh, right? Okay. Yes. okay. You don't need you don't need sandals oh. because once the acrylic is dry, it's dry. And then once it gel, it's on your, your toe, uh -huh. it's hundred percent good. Oh, okay. You're working late, you're closing or what? Yeah. Oh no, I'm actually I'm off. I did a uh, Are you off today? No, no, I go in at two. Gotcha. I'm doing a half a day because my vacation part when I'm off. <laughs> nice. Or oh, today? Yeah. How, how long do you have vacation for? Five days. And then I have uh, the following weekend, I have another my other vacation time for another five days. Yeah. So I was like, perfect timing because with all this drama going on at work with this whole investigation yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'm you, like, you need to stay away. Yeah. Like, I still wanted to leave work after that phone call. Like, I was... It's overwhelming and just stressful, right. and I wanted to cry, but I, I was like, you know what, nope, I'm not going to give them the like, I'm not going to let them see me break down, you know what right, I mean? Right, like, No. You're I'm, not weak. Yeah, my wife's like, don't do this. She's like, you're strong, you got this. You, can, you, you know how to, you know how to get these things. You yeah, did yeah. down these roads before, mm -hmm. and the outcome was the other people got fired, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you're right, you're right. Like, I got this. She's like, this thing, dude, you got this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I got this, I do. <laughs> That's very it's motivating. Just, yeah. Yeah. Because I've seen it a lot with this company, like, 
actually sit on the good workers mm -hmm. and the workers that that are not involved in drama. Right. And it's like they want you to be a part of the circle right. where you're involved in drama, you're involved in gossiping, you're involved in Well, it's all, all speculation. Yeah. They don't do research. It's all speculation. They, they, they don't work. They just walk they, around talking yep. and it's like, I'm not a fight that regardless, I'm going to work. I'm here to do my job and that's it. Right. I'm not gonna get sucked into all that drama with Yeah, in the future, if you want to go into CES and don't feel like paying for your items, you're free to do so. Right? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> you cannot stop you. I cannot stop no, you. No, that's... I can't even say, hey, I saw you put that... That is a crazy rule, man. Check it out. No, that is a crazy rule. You can't say nothing to them. Wow. <laughs> How do you like your nails so far, my lady? I'm they look good, huh? The yeah. shade is nice. On one line style on each hand, huh? Yeah. That's nice. I like that style. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Cute and simple. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty too. Yeah. This buffing part right here is actually one of the most important parts. Because you got a butt figure to get that smooth surface.
Look at this backfill. So yes. clean. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yes. That looks so nice. Go ahead and go wash your hand with water and okay. I'll get everything ready for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing every day. Just going live with my clients and you know showing you guys what salon life is all about. They can, we can talk about anything. We can talk about retail, anything that's revolving life. But uh, thank you very much. If you guys really like what you guys are seeing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys can get more content. I do post video weekly, and I also uh, go live almost every week when I am working with my clients' nails. And you guys will see the whole process and start to finish. And any question you guys have for me, leave it in the comment. Um, and just connect with me and communicate and we'll we'll help each other out you know what i mean but thank you very much for watching though uh while i'm waiting for my clients to go wash their hand i'm gonna clean my table real quick just to get that nice dust out of the way and then we're gonna put the top coat on and we're gonna go in with the rhinestone y'all so we're about to put the rhinestone onto the nail and usually when i put rhinestone on i like to do the rhinestone after i put the top coat so I'm going to show you how to do it. I got this adhesive right here uh, that works really great for the rhinestone. And I'm going to get the rhinestone out. There it is. More likely we're going to go in with these one right here. She only want one on each finger. so. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this though. I, I love going live to show you guys the whole process and you guys can see me in action live So there's no cutting the clips away or editing and all that. This is raw and Sometimes we like to watch something that's raw, right? You know and at home I I can't wait to do some more tutorial for you guys on how to shape and all that. So if you guys have any question like what you guys want to learn or what you guys want me to show you, leave it in the comment, okay? So that I can actually know exactly what you want to learn and I'll, I'll teach y'all. But yep, I'm waiting for her. So today it was simple. We did a backfill. She had an ombre the last time she saw me. And today we just fill it in the nude and whatever that needs to get filled in the back. And then it was an easy set. There was hardly any lift, so I'm very happy about the result. She went for at least four weeks, so that's amazing, right? Four weeks and no lift. So let's get it. How do you like it, my lady? I love them. They look good, huh? Nice. They look so clean. So put the top coat on, we're going with that. Okay. You know, putting the top coat on is actually very important too. Some places, they just slap the top coat on like a big old chunk and it's not smooth and it ruins the shape. Mm. When I put a towel, I want to make sure it's just like perfect where it doesn't like make it look too thick on the fingernails, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. That could happen. That is so pretty.
That looks so nice. Wow. So. Let's go up with this middle size, huh? Yeah. I, I think the big ones, I don't like it too much. I like the middle one. This one's a perfect in my head. All of this item right here, mm -hmm. I got it on Amazon. Really? So, yeah. And uh, it's very useful. Nice. The link to all this item is in the description. So. That's it. Wow. You like that? Man, I love the shape. I love the ombre. This back feel right here looks like a brand new set. And that's what we call a good back feel right here. Thank you. And if any one of you guys are interested in getting these products, there's a link in my description where it will lead you to all the products that I use on my client's nails. This is amazing. I love doing, man, you have such beautiful. Wow. Let's go ahead and. Happy birthday nail right here, huh? How pretty that looks the color the ombre the blend the rhinestone thank you so much that was nice i'm gonna get you ready for your pedicure okay okay 
thank you for watching everyone and you guys are interested in those items that i am using on my client it is in the description just click on the link below for my product recommendation thank you for watching and i'll see you next time